Yeah. Yeah. Decided to take my break from the workshop to come read you guys a story. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, for those who don't know, this is my friend Cookie Monster. And he's the main purpose of this book, so let's find out what happens. It was the night before Christmas on Sesame Street. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a grouch. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Cookie Monster was nestled all snug in his bed while visions of cookies danced in his head. <laughs> what kind of cookies are you thinking of? Let me guess. Uh, chocolate chip. And gingerbread. And sugar. And sacred dough. And every kind of cookie you want. <laughs> when out on the street there arose such a clatter, he sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. And what to his wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh with eight tiny reindeer. Santa, he cried, me think this is great. But me wish me not eat what was on Santa's plate. Oh no, Cookie shouted, what should me do? He must make more cookies for Santa he knew. So he flew to the kitchen, this time not to eat, but to make sure he left his friend Santa a treat. There was so much to do and no time to waste, and Cookie was worried by all that he faced. If only he had an elf helper, me, myself, or two, then there would be nothing that he couldn't do. Then the very next moment, Cookie heard a strange sound. Santa, he thought, as he turned right around. Not Santa, but better. Twas all his friends. We can help, Elmo said, from now till the end. Elmo started to mix, then, the me then measure and splatter. And though Bert was the baker, Ernie tasted some batter. <laughs> The clock ticked away when the bell sounded. They opened the oven, pleased and astounded. Does everyone know what fresh baked cookie smells like? Yeah. yeah? Yummy. Don't they smell good? Cookie is happy. The count frosted cookies, then counted each one. And Abby got all of the sprinkling done. Hooray, Cookie cried, his plate filled to the brim. Now Santa had treats that were ready for him. And then, in a twinkling, they heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each reindeer hoof. They set out the cookies, and as they turned brown, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. <laughs> he had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. What does Santa say? Ho, 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 ho. ho. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. The cookies, he saw them right next to the tree. Oh boy, Cookie whispered, me sure hope he's hungry. Santa took a big bite and then smiled so wide that our dear Cookie Monster was beaming with pride. We did it, he whispered and hugged all his friends. Me thank you again and again and again. And now all the friends were as pleased as could be. Santa ate not just one cookie, but three. Then, laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. 
but they heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas, Sesame Street, and to all, a good night. The end. Yay. All right, if you'd like to take pictures with Cookie Monster, can I just ask that we get in a line behind, or in front of me and going back down the store that way? One. Can you take a picture of them? Yeah.